Hi guys, this is MGS Warrior 2, and I have a random XY Pokemon Showdown battle here. This is against Pokemon Master Radmiral. He led off with a Krikatoon. I switched into my Snorlax. I did not want my Virizion to take that Aerial Ace, but my Snorlax gets Toxic Poisoned. I went for the Fire Punch. Fortunately for me, I did get the Burn, which does help on uh, cutting Krikatoon's attack. So the Brick Break does not do a whole lot after the burns, and then I finish off Krikatoon with a second Fire Punch. Now here comes his Vivillon, as it went for the Hurricane that almost took out my Snorlax, but it didn't, so it allowed me to go for the rest and cure its uh, poisoning and all of its HP that it lost. But I get put right back to sleep thanks to Vivillon's sleep powder. So I, I'll have to switch out here to Clefable. Clefable took the hurricane not too well, about half, and now it's confused. Uh, and it missed the next hurricane, but I hurt myself in my confusion. I don't want my Clefable to be taken out, so I switched into my Pseudo Wudo, which is holding a balloon, but not for long after that hurricane because it resists flying moves. But my Pseudo Wudo is confused now. He switches into his Melodic. As Pseudo Wudo hurt itself, I need to switch out. Don't want Pseudo Wudo to take on a Water Pokemon. So I still switch into my Ludicolo to take the Scald, but my Ludo Ludicolo gets burned. So he's afraid of the, this Ludicolo, so he switches into his Mill Tank. I set up the Rain Dance. I go for the Drain Punch, even though it's super effective, it doesn't uh, look like it did uh, much of anything. Miltank went for the Body Slam, which did decent damage. So I switch out my Ludicolo, go into Pseudo Wudo to take the Resisted Body Slam. Um, but it does have the Earthquake, which is super effective. I take this time to set up Stealth Rock, go for Sucker Punch just to get additional damage off before my Pseudo Wudo goes down to the next Earthquake. So this Mill Tank is, well, one tough cookie. Here comes um, my Alomomala as it takes the Body Slam. I go for the Toxic Poisoning, seeing it's, that's probably the only way for me to take down this Mill Tank is to poison it and um, over several turns it'll faint to the poison. I go for the wish so that I could uh, possibly heal up a, a teammate of mine on the team. Uh, I want my Clefable to be healed up. Unfortunately Miltank does have the heal bell so I can poison it. Uh, so I take the critical hit Earthquake and I go for the Moon Blast. That does decent damage. So um, I took another Earthquake, but now I heal up with Soft Boiled. So now I switch out. I go back into my Virizion to take the Resisted Earthquake. And here, uh, this is where I make uh, pretty poor choices against Miltank. I set up a Substitute, but it breaks it with Body Slam. And this is the move I regretted the most in this battle. I went for the Leaf Blade on Miltank, uh, activating its Sap Sipper ability, raising its attack stat. I took a, a heavier Body Slam and got paralyzed. So now um, that forces me to switch into my Sleeping Snorlax, hoping for it to wake up so I can use Whirlwind so that uh, I can clear up the stat boost and phase it out. So um, that's what happens. Uh, Snorlax did wake up in time to whirlwind out the mill tank. I was, I'm very thankful for that. And uh, I took Sylveon's Moon Blast pretty well, was able to hang in there and go for another rest. And that was very key there for my Snorlax to stay in this battle. So the villain takes about half thanks to the Stealth Rock. I switch back into my Alamamala. Um, it and the hurricane did about half because a lot of Alamamala is physically bulky, it can't take special attacks too well. Uh, so another hurricane almost takes it down. I go for the wish 
so that I can recover off damage. And I, I do have the protect, so that is a nice combo there to get the wish without being damaged. So he misses a hurricane that allows me to get a toxic off on the Vivillon. And that's great because residual poison damage is always nice. I go for the protect to toxic stall and to scout its next move. I'm so glad I was able to avoid the sleep powder. So now I'm going to switch into my Ludicolo because it already has a status on it so I know it's not going to work with uh, the sleep powder. So a hurricane takes down the Ludicolo, so that was my death fodder. Now here comes my Clefable. Uh, unfortunately the villain does have the roost um, so that it took away its flying type so that it's not weak against the ice beam. It went for the Hurricane Clefable, still hanging in, in there. I went for the Soft Boiled, because I know that the Villain will just die to the poison, and it does. So, that's uh, good for me. It took down two Pokemon. Uh, Hydro Pump immediately uh, KOs the Clefable. Now here comes my Verizion. Uh, I was able to live the Hydro Pump because it resists that. I go for the Leaf Blade. That's definitely going to one-hit KO almost star times four. Super effective and stab. Okay, here comes this Miltank again. The most annoying Pokemon in the world in this battle. It finished my Verizion with a Body Slam. I, I go back into my Alamamala. As it, I know it can take a Body Slam or any physical move that Miltang dishes out. Uh, so here I'm tr just trying to get the uh, Scald Burn on the Miltank, but I get paralyzed from the Body Slam. Okay, so now Miltank is just going to keep spamming those Body Slams while I'm just going to keep spamming the Scald. So um, this did end up being a very long battle. Um, as you'll see soon, it'll be an, uh, a stall war, which is it's kind of a stall war right now. Um, so um, I was able to protect myself, get the wish, and heal up so that I can stay in this battle and try to make a comeback because I am down 2-3. to three, And I'm still not getting the burn off the Scald. And it looks like he has more of the benefit of the hacks on his side. Yeah, my opponent's getting annoyed at this point that I just keep stalling with my Alamamala. He's growing impatient of my stall tactics, but you gotta do what you gotta do, and um, I believe that stall is the only way for me to win this battle and to not lose to my opponent. But it is a, a skillful strategy if you know how to use stall. Not much to say here, it, it's just the same moves being used over and over again by both of us until one of us gives in or in in my case if para, uh, the paralysis gets the best of my Alamamala. So I see that it's time to get up another wish because my Alamamala is getting um, to a weakened point again. So I'm just hoping to stall out the rest of his body slams. I don't know how many PPs it has. I think he's out of body slams now, that's why he switched to Earthquake. Oh, so it does look like he has more body slams left. And my Scald is still not burning the mill tank. So he switches into his Melodic finally. I go for the Scald on that, but it resisted so it didn't do a thing, even after, uh, especially after the, le the leftovers. Now here comes Sylveon while my Alamomala is paralyzed. 
It went for the Shadow Ball, which didn't do a whole lot. I went for the Toxic. I got to poison the Sylveon, which is great. And now I switch into my Snorlax, knowing that my Alamamala can't take special attacks too well. And then I know Snorlax could. So I'm just hoping for Snorlax to wake up in time for me to finish the Sylveon, which is the ideal scenario for me. While my opponent keeps spamming those Moon Blasts, hoping my Snorlax won't wake up in time for me to uh, fight back against the Sylveon. So, uh, lucky for me, my Snorlax woke up just in the neck of time and got off the Body Slam. Oh, I mean, not the Body Slam, the Return to finish the uh, Sylveon, but I end up getting KO'd by Miltank's Earthquake. Okay, so now it's, I'm down to my Alamamala, which is my only hope left. I finally get the burn from the Scald, which is what I was um, trying to get over the past, um, I don't know, 20 turns. But it does have the Heal Bell, so it doesn't matter too much that I got the burn on it. So um, I'm just looking to KO this Mill Tank once and for all. As uh, he's also hoping for a crit of his own. Um, I finish it with the Scald finally. So the Mill Tank is no more. And finally his Mill Tank, his Melodic rather, is his final Pokemon. And I got the Toxic on Melodic. So it's just a matter of time until the Toxic Poisoning uh, KOs it over the, the next several turns. So I'm confident that I have this battle in the bag as long as I keep stalling and as long as I don't get too many turns wasted um, due to the paralysis. So I just go for the protect and um, keep toxic stalling him. Because I know the toxic Poisoning is getting greater and greater every turn. And I go for the wish. I do not want to risk uh, losing my Alamamala at this point or losing the battle. But he did show me he has the recover. So we both have recovery moves. That will make it even longer for him to faint to the toxic poisoning. So I'm just hoping for the Toxic Poisoning to get to the point where it will um, uh, kill, it, kill it in one turn. So he finally uh, re realized that it's over. He forfeited because he knows the Poisoning will eventually take him down. So I was able to hang in there, uh, make a comeback. A toxic stall my opponent to death with my Alamamala and win this epic stall war. I'm glad I hung in there. I did not give up. Even after I made that crucial mistake with Verizion's Leaf Blade activating Miltank's uh, Sap Zipper. And I uh, hope you all enjoyed this epic stall war and the battle I had with Pokemon Master Radmoral. Uh, comment, like, sub, and see you guys next time.